I was born in Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria. I mean, I didn't go with my family, so when I was like a baby to like, I was eight, my mom was there. She traveled to London, working, and sent money back for my schooling. I had to stay with a guardian for the whole time. She was nice to me, but sometimes I just wish that I had my mom there. For Longhorns forward Alamade Oborowa, the journey from Nigeria to Texas started by finding the game of basketball, or rather the game of basketball finding her. I was just walking down the street in my neighborhood one day, and then this coach saw me. I was like, uh, hey, do you, do you play basketball? I said, I, I don't know what it is. It was weird, really weird to play with your hands, because in Nigeria, the known sport is soccer. Like, a lot, everyone plays soccer. So then there was this game that you have to like dribble your hand. It was hard for me because I like started to practice around boys that were into the game. Like they were big, tougher and stronger. I was like younger, so I was like the only one. Growing up, I've always been like a very like secluded kid. So it was tough, but then I met a lot of people, good willing people that are willing to help me. You know, they looked out for me. They were like my big brothers. Thanks to a nonprofit organization dedicated to empowering young African women in sports and education, Alamade was offered a chance to go to high school in the United States and play basketball. I was used to like going from place to place and sometimes not even having like somewhere to stay. So I was like, well, if this is a great opportunity for me, like this is a chance to better my life, like more than what I have right now. So I just went with it. At Newman Goretti, a Philadelphia prep school, Aborowa developed into one of the nation's top power forwards in her class. Karen Ashton and the Texas basketball staff took notice. She had a lot of potential. Uh, you would watch her play and there would just be these flashes of athleticism and flashes of being able to do something really special. And then, of course, you saw the parts that you were aware, that made you aware that she didn't quite know what was going on in the game. but. Just the flashes made me want to see what we could do with the potential. You know, I was so used to like being alone and being secluded. I didn't want to go back to that. I wanted to go somewhere that you know I can like spread out a little bit more. So then I came to UT and it was like a nice little city. Like it wasn't as big as Philadelphia, but it was big enough. Her first year on the 40 acres, however, was anything but perfect. I can't even imagine how overwhelmed she was just with the environment. It's a big jump, the processing of the game was very difficult for her because she was being asked to do things that were completely out of her wheelhouse. She didn't know anything that we were saying. She didn't understand the terminology. She didn't understand the pace of what we do. Lots of really tough moments. I was letting like the fact that I wasn't good in basketball affect my outside life and making like making it making life difficult for me overall because of that. I just felt like I couldn't do it anymore. Like I wasn't I didn't deserve to be here because it was like it just came out of the blue for me. I know why. I have friends back home that have been working on this for a long time and it didn't work out for them. Like they, they're so good in basketball, like they're really good. And it just don't work out for them. And it just happened to me. I'm like, well, do I deserve this opportunity? I, I doubt myself a lot. Through determination, Aborowa has shown growth in her sophomore season at Texas. More than anything, I think that she's gaining self-confidence and there have been times that it's been at a pretty low level. She's persevering, I, I think that's the lesson. It would have been really, really easy to throw in the towel. And for whatever reason, she has refused to do that and that's, it's motivational to me. You know, those are the kind of kids that you want to succeed and you want them to reach their dreams. I mean, she has dreams. She wants to go back and help her country. I'm very, very proud to be a Nigerian. I. I love my country so much. I feel like we can be better. It's a great opportunity for me. Like not everyone has this and I need to put it to good use. And I appreciate the fact that I'm here today and stop worrying about like everything else. That's why I'm trying to, you know, learn from here, like grow and be able to go back and do what I can to help out.